Good morning, folks. It is Monday the 27th of July, a rather wet Monday this morning, but we're going to come together and read God's Word. This morning we're going to read Psalm 31, slightly longer psalm um, than some of the others, but let's read this one together. O oh Lord, I have come to you for protection. Don't let me be disgraced. Save me, for you do what is right. Turn your ear to listen to me. Rescue me quickly. Be my rock of protection, a fortress where I will be safe. You are my rock and my fortress. For the honour of your name, lead me out of this danger. Pull me from the trap my enemies have set for me, for I find protection in you alone. I entrust my spirit into your hand. Rescue me, O Lord, for you are a faithful God. I hate those who worship worthless idols. I trust in the Lord. I will be glad and rejoice in your unfailing love. But you have seen my troubles and you care about my anguish of my soul. You have not handed me over to my enemies, but have set me in a safe place. Have mercy on me, Lord, for I am in distress. Tears blur my eyes. My body and soul are withering away. I am dying from grief. My years are shortened with sadness. Sin has drained my strength. I am wasting away from within. I am scorned by all my enemies and despised by my neighbours. Even my friends are afraid to come near me. When they see me on the street, they run the other way. Am I ignored as if I were dead, if I, as if I were a broken pot? I have heard the many rumours about me and I am surrounded by terror. My enemies conspire against me, plotting to take my life. But I am trusting in you, O Lord, saying, You are my God. My future is in your hands. Rescue me from those who hunt me down relentlessly. Let your favour shine on your servants. In your unfailing love, rescue me. Don't let me be disgraced, O Lord, for I call out to you for help. Let the wicked be disgraced. Let them lie, lie silent in the grave. Silence their lying lips, those proud and arrogant lips that accuse the godly. How great is your goodness, is it how great is the goodness you have stored up for those who fear you? You lavish it on those who come to you for protection, blessing them from before the before watching the world. You hide them in the shelter of your presence, safe from those who conspire against them. You shelter them in your presence, far from accusing tongues. Praise the Lord, for he has shown me the wonders of his unfailing love. He kept me safe when my city was under attack. In panic I cried out, I am cut off from the Lord. But you heard my cry for help and answered my call for help. Love the Lord, all you godly ones, for the Lord protects those who are loyal to him. But he harshly punishes the arrogant. So be strong and courageous, all you who put your hope in the Lord. Amen. Again, another psalm where the psalmist pours out his heart, pours out all that he is feeling, all uh, the emotion of what's going on around him. It's clear that people are against him. It's clear that people want to ridicule him and tear him down. But he doesn't lose hope. He doesn't lose faith. He keeps his eyes firmly fixed on the Lord and he draws his strength from God. There's so many things, again, we could take ages going through this psalm bit by bit, verse by verse. But to take the overriding factor of it, the, the, the overriding message, where do you put your hope? Where do you put your trust? Where do you draw strength from? Is it from the worlds and what's going on in the worlds? Or is it from your relationship with God? For the psalmist, it's his relationship with God. That's the one thing which he can count upon. That's the one thing he can bank upon. Um, everything else will just fade away. But his relationship with God is eternal. You know, we quite often talk about this world and we get so attached in this world, but we forget that this world is temporary. But our relationship, our lack of relationship with God is eternal. That's where we need to invest our effort and our time is in that relationship with God to make sure it's as healthy as possible, to make sure that we are doing all that we are called to do.
So did they. On oh, yes, a, a damp and miserable day. Let's remember that even though it's damp outside, it might be a bit dark and dreary, we can have the brightness of what the relationship with God in our lives. We have that light, whatever we trust in, we have his light shining in us. Let's pray that it shines brightly so all the people see it and all the people want it too. Let's pray together. Lord, as we start another week, we thank you for, again, your love, your faithfulness. We thank you for all the promises in your word. Lord, help us to really build upon that relationship with you, to, to invest our time and effort into that, rather than the things of this world which are useless, which fade away. Help us to take that time with you each and every day, to grow closer to you and stronger in our faith for you. Father, thank you. Continue with us now, we pray in Christ's name. Amen. Thanks, folks. Simple thought for another day. And trust that today, it is a blessed day, even though it's raining. Um, that maybe it forces us to stop for a while and just to take that time with God and just to spend time with him. So take care. God bless. See you soon.